Joe Martin and Sasha Dewan enter the new world of audio. So, uh, yes, it recently got announced that uh, Joe Martin and Sasha Dewan, uh, as their respective characters in Doctor Who, The Master and The Fugitive Doctor, will be getting their own Big Finish audio spin-offs. Now, this, re this actually, you know, reveals a few things to us, um, which we will get into. Joe Martin and Sasha Dewan enter the world of audio in brand new audio dramas. Big Finish Productions today announces a brand new series of adventures for The Fugitive Doctor, played by actress Joe Martin, and a brand new full series cast of audios starring Sasha Dewan as the master. The Fugitive Doctor series and Call Me Master are now available to pre-order exclusively from the Big Finish website. Actually, we can, we can have a look at both of them. Uh, yeah, this just has the generic Fugitive Doctor cover um and call me master let's have a look what's the do they have any descriptions just new new adventures for the master starring sasha dewan and this one just says new adventures for the fugitive doctor starring germine we do have um some production credits including our our, our main guy assistant producer dominic martin which is absolutely great it's great to see him working on the fugitive doctor i know he's very passionate about it so very cool stuff uh, we'll read some more about the, the details here. The Fugitive Doctor Adventures first revealed on screen in 2020 Doctor, in, in the 2020 Doctor Who episode Fugitive of the Dune. The Fugitive Doctor is a previously unseen incarnation of the Doctor who quickly established herself as a popular character with the viewers. Now she's back as Joe Martin stars in six new exciting full cast audio dramas due to be released across two sets. Big Finish do amazing work. They are a vital part of the fandom. I'm over the moon to be joining this iconic show. I can't wait to see what stories they have in store for the Fugitive Doctor. Story details, writers, and additional guest cast are being kept under wraps at present, but Doctor Who fans worldwide can now pre-order both volumes, which are available in two formats, Collector's Edition, Collector's Edition CD box sets, or digital downloads, exclusive from Big Finish's website. Uh, Big Finish chairman Jason Haig Ellery said, I first met Joe Martin at a Doctor Who convention in February of this year. When she wowed the cow, when she wowed the cows, when she wowed the crowds with her enthusiasm for the program and the role of the fugitive doctor, her excitement was palpable. Joe obviously loved the role, and we were excited to create new adventures for her to star in. As the fugitive doctor herself once said, "You're going to love this." Producer David Richardson said, "What a privilege to be producing the thirteenth doctor, the fugitive doctor rather, audio adventures." There's a whole new era to explore uh, in these in stories that follow on from Fugitive of the Jadoon. So that's an interesting point of note. These won't take place in the pre-Hartnell days. These will take place after the events of Fugitive of the Jadoon. Um, so they will be, you know, relatively up to date to the current timeline. Although, you know, possibly Joe Martin could travel back across her own timeline um, in these audios. So that'll be interesting to see how that's done. But yeah, this is after Joe meets 13. An interesting question here that I do have is will uh, Joe Martin have knowledge of her meeting with 13 because traditionally when a past doctor meets like a future incarnation then they forget that that event ever happened. Um, it it kind of gets a little bit wishy-washy because in I believe like time crash like they, they remember how to do it because they were there in the past but in things like Day of the Doctor the War Doctor can't retain the events of Day of the Doctor. So it'll be interesting to see like whether the Fugitive Doctor retains those events in these audios. There's a whole new area to explore the following Fugitive of Dune, um, and I can't wait to start work with the gloriously talented and charismatic Joe Martin. Each of the two volumes in Doctor Who The Fugitive Doctor Adventures will be released as a three disc collector's edition box set or download containing three brand new full cast audio adventures plus a selection of behind-the-scenes extras. The Fugitive Doctor Adventures marks the first in a range of spin-offs from the 13th Doctor's era of Doctor Who at Big Finish, with more new series to follow. So that kind of gives us the implication that, yeah, they are planning on doing 13th Doctor audios, which in itself is, you know, kind of a good thing, because I want to see... I want to see Jodie written by not Chibnall. <laughs> you know, I think that would be good, but yeah. And then we have Call Me Master. Um, hard on the heels of the announcement of Big Finish's new The Fugitive Doctor Adventures comes another spin-off Doctor Who series, Call Me Master. Sasha Dewan, who has played the latest incarnation of the Master on TV since 2020 and is due to appear in the 30th Doctor's final story later this year, notable how they make reference to him returning here and not Joe, 
I think Joe's going to be in it anyway, but I, I'm guessing the only reason they mention it here is because we know of that because of the next time trailer. Story later this year will reprise the role in six new adventures on audio. I absolutely adore working with the fantastic team at Big Finish, so when they asked me to play the Master in his own series, it was an offer I couldn't refuse. The Master is such a joy to play on so many levels. I can't wait to see what he's going to get up to without the Doctor around to hold him back. Hold on to your seats, folks. Big Finish chairman Jason Hay Gallery said, Sasha Dewan is already part of the family at Big Finish, having guest starred in a number of Doctor Who and Torchwood audio dramas in 2014. Sasha's enthusiasm for the Master knows no bounds. We are so excited to work with him and his rather unhinged alter ego at Big Finish. It's going to be one hell of a ride. Producer Heather Chalitz said, Sasha's Master was iconic from the moment he revealed himself to the audience. His performance has such charisma, such madness, and can turn on a dime. I'm beyond thrilled and honoured to be the producer that gets to bring this incarnation of the Master to Big Finish listeners. It's going to be very fun getting to peel back the many layers and find out just what makes the Master tick. Each of the two volumes in Call Me Master will be released as a three disc. Yeah, yeah, that's the same basic thing as, as the Roof Doctor one. Yeah, exciting stuff. And I probably will pick up both of these just to, to see how the writing differs and to see you know, what stories these characters are, are put into without the confines of being uh, within the current version of the show, you know. I've always said the Fugitive Doctor and the Dewan Master, respectively, are kind of like two of my favourite parts of the current era. You know, like, if I had to pick two things, you know, for them to do audios on, I would definitely pick, you know, these two. Question is, will the Master be the 40th Doctor? Yeah, well, actually, that's a... You say that as a meme, but this actually brings up a couple of interesting things. First of all, this basically means that we know that there isn't going to be any more um, Roof Doctor or Master content post Whitaker era. Because, as we all know, Big Finish can't do content on stuff that's actively being used in the show, hence why uh, they started doing Capaldi stuff after 2017, and they've started doing, you know, Whitaker era stuff, now that filming on the era has wrapped and we only have one episode left. So the implication, of course, is that, as I said, he's not going to use the Timeless Child elements in RTD2, which I always kind of suspected anyway, but I think this acts as kind of the biggest confirmation of that. You know, I personally do believe we need like a new story. But yeah, basically what I was trying to say was, you know, it basically confirms we're not getting either Sasha Dewan's Master or the Roof Doctor or basically anything to do with like the timeless child stuff in the Chibnall era, the Chibnall era, the RTD2 era rather, which is interesting to know, but it also means that RTD probably doesn't intend on retconning it, which I've seen a few people suggest that he might. I, I honestly also thought that was pretty unlikely. It's kind of unlikely that the showrunners ever just, you know, retcon entirely the, the predecessor's work. Obviously, they make changes to it, but by and large, you know, the events that happen in previous versions of the show still happen. So yeah, anyone asking for a retcon, I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's more likely what's going to happen. It probably is going to be similar to the half-human thing. We just kind of, we'll probably get a line, maybe jokerly addressing it, and then we move on. And I think personally, it's probably for the best. But as I said, I think it is a, a good thing that we are getting these audio. I have mentioned before on my Twitter that I um, I do somewhat wish they'd have considered the optics of, um, you know, casting the first POC woman to play the Doctor in a cameo role a bit more than they did. Because, um, as I've said before, that is kind of a bit... Like, it doesn't sit quite right with me. They really should have considered the optics of uh, casting the first POC woman as the Doctor in a cameo role. But instead, it seems like they were just thinking about getting the Doctor Who in the headlines, which is a massive shame, as Joe Martin is pretty great. A sentiment I still stand by, you know, I think when you do things like this, you've got to be very careful as to how it's handled. And when, you, especially when you're dealing with, uh, you know, underrepresented groups in media, it's important that those things are handled with care. And I can't help but feel that uh, in Joe Martin's case, it was kind of used as a promotional tool for the show, which most castings are, don't get me wrong, but that's kind of all Joe Martin's been used as, you know, it's not as if she's had major roles in in the show after that she's kind of just been in cameos i feel like chibnall didn't plan on doing much with her after uh fugitive and i just think that that's a bit of a huge shame really because like i say joe martin is, is great and whilst i'm glad we're getting audios and stuff i don't know the way that she was used to kind of promote the show 
her casting was used to promote the show whilst not really having to do anything in regards to representation it's not great but yeah as i said i'm glad i'm getting the audios i'm glad i'm getting the comics but part of me is just like it does just almost feel like you've wasted like a massive opportunity but um yeah it's still a good thing we're getting these audios i just can't help but feel that more should have been done or at least more should have been considered when when doing stuff with the roof doctor than than what was Shout out to Debs Iona, Shane Smith, Ree Keffin, Seb Lowndes, Jay Monroe, Hash Shandicoot, Patrick Mewson, Simon Ashley, Steve Safaro, Andrew Townsend, Alex Robbins, Michael Dykes, Paul Bryden, Sam Yates, Michael Rhodes, Jerry the Meerkat, Heretic, Bibliotecaria Nerd, and Cameron Jefferson. If you want to become a member, feel free to do so. It really helps out. You get exclusive posts, shout outs in every video, and even your own badge and custom emojis to use.